It seems that every potato chip recipe on YouTube seems to make the same lame classic salted potato chip. But I like sour cream and onion chips. Thankfully, I know how to make them from scratch. But how do we make homemade sour cream and onion chips? Simple. You'll actually have to watch my video. Sorry, watch time algorithmics. Now before we put any seasoning on our chip, we gotta, you know, make the chip. So bust out a handy dandy mandolin slicer, link in the description if you want one. Oh, uh, and safety first. And if any of my haters are complaining about why I'm being so overly safety, tell them it's just human nature. All right, enough references, let's get to slicing. And once our potatoes are nice and sliced up, dump them in a bowl full of cold water. All right, add a little salt to our bowl. Mix it around. And let these potato slices soak for one hour. Okay, it's been an hour and we need to dry off our potato chips. So just put them on some kitchen towels like the ones I have right here. And pat them dry with another kitchen towel. And transfer them all to a plate. So with all the potato slices ready for frying, how do we get a hold of some sour cream and onion seasoning? Do I order it off a specialty food place like I did with my last flavored potato chip video? Well, what if I told you that the sour cream and onion flavoring was always available at your local supermarket? It was always in the potato chip aisle, just in the shadow of well-known pre-made sour cream and onion chips. Laura Scudder's Green Onion Dip Mix. While it's typically used for dip, this is what's gonna make our homemade sour cream and onion chips. And if you need further proof, this contains both dehydrated onion and dehydrated dairy. Oh, and uh, put it in a little spice shaker like this. So I have here a Dutch oven filled with oil and a bowl which we will season our chips with. All right, let's turn on the stove and bring her up to 375 degrees. Did we overthrow your democratically elected leader and install a puppet dictatorship in its place? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. All right, let's come up to drip. Gently drop our potato slices in. Cook them until they're lightly browned. Okay, once they turn a little golden like this, take them out of the fryer. Shake off any excess oil, place them in our bowl, and sprinkle it with our seasoning. Give it a nice toss. And let them cool on a cooling rack lined with paper towel. And here we go, folks. A lovely sour cream and onion chip, which you can make at home for free. Well, not really for free. Well, okay, not for free. You do need to pay for this. Okay, not really for free. You do need to pay for the ingredients. Still good though. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. <laughs>